So welcome to the third part of this video. So in the second part, we completed the detailing of this first reinforced member. Now, this one, we are introducing it because it is also a main reinforcement bar, but it will play a role as distribution bar because of the length of the longer side. So it means that we're also going to introduce reinforcement bars that are perpendicular to the main reinforcement bar here in spacing, just like what was done for this one. So for us to introduce the spacing, let's assume that from the designer's calculation, we had that we should adopt 12 mm bars of high steel grade placed at 250 center to center but in this case even though it is placed at the bottom it will be placed at the top of the main reinforcement bar so what this means is that we're also going to introduce a call out this way and this is what i'm going to adopt so we are going to use change our layer to call out and then i will use the line tool and i will start somewhere anywhere from around anywhere from around here and take it this way and then let me take it to the end now what this means is that <clears throat> i can also introduce let's to save time let's copy this and press enter and specify our base point and take this one here now all i just need to do is to edit this now what this means is that this one remember this is the main this is the distribution by explaining the rule of distribution bar and it will be spaced from this point to this point but the length is four meters so we have to divide four meters by this spacing which should give us 16. so all i just need to do is click on this and then right click and go to quick properties a dialog box should appear. Now, all I just need to do is go to contents, click on this, double click on it, and then remove or remove the 20 by editing and replacing it with 6, 16. And then we we'll also come down to the top, uh, bottom, bottom, and replace it with top, bottom. And there we have it. So this has been edited and we have 16. Okay, there's still one more thing. If this one, we take the, we took the, um, uh, what do you call it now? The bar mark to be 01. Let's introduce this as 02. So let's go back to our quick properties and then go down and introduce this as 02. And we are good to go. So the change has already occurred. So what we have here is that we have 16 numbers, high yield reinforcement bars with diameter of 12 mm and having a bar mark of O2 placed at 250 millimeters center to center at the top of the main reinforcement bars. Why? Because it is playing the role of a distribution bar. So we also need to introduce, let's copy and um, let's press enter. Take this here. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I will take that back. What we want to do is that we want to copy this. I press copy and then this covers and 
after I select it, I press enter. The idea is that let me remove this, restrict the it restricted the orthogonal movement. So let's click on this and then take it this way. And so there we have it. So what this means is that this reinforcement bar has a callout which is pinned to what we have here. So that will play the role of the rain reinforcement bars. Now notice that I switched off the line weight. It is just to enable me to have access to what we are doing. Because if I try to click this, I may end up messing up some of the uh, drawings. So I can always switch it on when I want to print. We are going to look that much later. So what else do we have? Now, we, what it means is that we have reinforcements at the bottom with the main one spanning towards its direction and the distribution spanning towards its direction. Now, what about the top bars? The top bars, from what we can see here, ideally, this top is supposed to cover from somewhere around here to maybe somewhere around here. While this one will also have another one spanning, you know, horizontally as far as this orientation is concerned. So what that means is that there is going to be a top bar and also that top bar will also have, you know, reinforcements spanning perpendicular to it. So we are going to look at all that in our next video. So once again, I'd like to encourage you to click the subscribe button and also to like this video, share it, and you can also make your comments or observations. So I look forward to meeting with you in the next uh video